Hi everyone, we're Calvin here. So we just finished weekly contest 146. So let's discuss about the second question. Sort the spot with alternating colors. So consider a directed graph. So we have two kind of edges, the red edges and blue edges and the number of nodes. So um, this is basically telling like um, we have a red edge to go from node number zero to one and red edges to go from number one to two and we are being expected to return an output of um, what is the cost required to go from node number 0 to node number i and we need to return it for all the nodes and then return a minus one if it's not possible to visit that node from node number 0 and additional constraint is like um, we need to go with the alternate color like so, um, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue like um, alternate so yeah, mm, that's why you can see here 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. So we can pick 0 to 1. So the cost to visit node number 1 is 1. But we cannot visit number 2 directly from here because 0 to 1 is using red edges. So to visit number 2, we require the blue edges, which is covered on the test case number 4. 0 to 1 red and then 1 to 2 blue. So and we return the cost. So how we're going to do this is basically using a BFS. So I, I make a class called path to remember like from node to node and what's the color of that path. And then I have two variable to remember the cost um, to visit certain node if we are using the red line at the last and if we are using blue line at the last. So yeah, um, here we store all the red, red edges and blue edges into the class called path with the color one is red and two is blue and then we basically go through the bfs so initially we mark um, to go to node number zero we require cost of zero and then we look through all the path that is possible from node number zero and then those destination path the cost is like from the current part, the from plus one. The cost of the current node plus to visit current node plus one, right? And then we look through the BFS of the possible part. So, um, yeah, if part exists, like the part actually, they have part to go from current node, then um, here we take the current color so the next color required is the opposite color of the current color and then we take all the part that is possible from the current part like the possible part from current node so you can see here is 0 to 1 so we want to know like the possible part from one to other places right so and the color need, need to be the same with the color we expected to use if we visit node number one by red then we want the next part as a blue right so if it's not the same then we skip it so yeah here you can see like we update the cost to visit node number let, let's say node number two is from the node number one the p from um, plus one the node number one plus one and the other the opposite also apply like from blue from red of the current from like current node is visited from the red line so the destination line from the blue line is from is like from current node of the red line plus one and then we remove those use part and as you can see here we add the part to mark as use so that's how we can prevent like the part being um, added again and again and causing the loop never end and once it's finished then we look through the entire um, from blue line and from red line and we choose the minimum cost that you can arrive on certain destination by using blue line or using a red line and if the part itself is like the cost is like integer max value minus one um, because that's the initial value I put then we change it to minus one because that is the node that cannot be visited and we return that output 
so yeah that's it for the second question thank you for watching and see you on the next weekly contest mm -hmm.